Hello and welcome. I'm your host, Neil Howard, here on Health Professional Radio. Thank you so much for joining us again. In this segment, we're going to have a conversation with Dr. Daniel Tepper. He's joining us here as CEO and co-founder of Cytovia Therapeutics. He's going to discuss being the first company combining stem cell engineering and multi-specific antibodies to empower natural killer cells to fight cancer. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, Dr. Daniel Tepper. Thank you so much for joining us. Neil, it's a pleasure to be on your show. Well, give us a bit of your professional background, if you wouldn't talk briefly about being CEO and co-founder of Cytovia Therapeutics. Uh, well, Neil, you know, I've, uh, I've de- dedicated my entire career to biopharmaceuticals and to uh, not just in cancer and also in multiple other therapeutic areas. And uh, I've worked for large companies such as Novartis and GlaxoSmithKline and Sanofi. I've also been involved as a founder or co-founder or CEO in multiple, you know, ventures, some that have been very successful and others, you know, less, uh, but, you know, always, you know, been eager to uh, focus on disruptive innovation that can address, you know, major unmet medical needs. And despite all the progresses in medicine, there are many unmet medical needs. And what is Cytovia Therapeutics uh, involved in? What's the mission? So Cytovia Therapeutics is focused on natural killer cells. Natural killer cells are involved in innate immunity, is the the immunity that newborn have in contrast with adoptive immunity, which you acquire in a later uh, in life. And you know, cell therapy has been. Uh, uh, developing exponentially in in the last you know ten years, with particularly for the treatment of cancer, mm-hmm. uh, with novel CAR T therapies coming to the clinic and then to the market uh, in the last you know five or six years. Well, Daniel, what was it that attracted you to the immune cell therapy space for precision oncology? You know, cell cell therapy is transformative in uh, in cancer you know, beyond chemotherapy and beyond antibody. And, uh, and we're attractive in disruptive technologies that can advance us toward a cure for cancer. Could you explain to us allergenic immune cell therapy versus autogenic? And once you explain that, how would you characterize the need for allergenic immune cell therapies? So autologous you know, cell therapy, which is the first generation, is basically taking the patient's cells, sending them to a lab, re-engineering them, and and then re-injecting to the patient. It's it's a complex, expensive, time-consuming procedure. Mm-hmm. Uh, the clinical data has been very promising, but the allogeneic is basically means it's available and off the shelf in real time for the patient. So you have two types of allogeneic. Uh, cell, you have those from donors, and you have those from iPSCs and from from the stem cells. So the ones from donors are a major advance, but the one from iPSC allow to manufacture billion and trillions of cells, allow to do gene editing, allow for consistency of uh, of the product. What is your your lead product, and what's next for your company? Then give us a website where our listeners can learn more. Uh, sure. So, so, so Neil, this year actually we we presented, and even this quarter we presented at the American Association of Cancer Research as well as the Euro- European Immunology Association meeting. You know, preclinical data on our lead programs in hepatocellular carcinoma and in multiple myeloma, and we presented data that showed the the safety and efficacy of our cells of our NK engager antibodies, but even more importantly, on combining both of them to get better, you know, better efficacy. This is the basis that will allow us to file for INDs toward the end of the year and to start clinical trials in in 2023. The first program uh, is in hepatocellular carcinoma. This is the most frequent form of liver cancer. It affects 700,000 patients you know, worldwide, and the best clinical data to date is less than 30% partial response 
in a less than seven months of progression-free survival. So we have major hope on the basis of you know our science that we can make a difference in uh, in the clinic in 2023 and beyond. Well, give us a website where we can learn more about Cytovia. Yes, yeah, so our website is www. CytoviaTX.com and Cytovia is spelled C-Y-T-O-V-I-A. You know, I'm hoping that uh, you can come back and speak with us uh, in the future. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Dr. Daniel Tepper, CEO and co-founder of Cytovia Therapeutics. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com. Health Professional Radio.